out of time. Uh, I have a problem gauging that. It's hard when you're doing artwork. I try to keep track of the time and I'm not so good at it. So here's part two, but it's real brief. Um, I finished uh, shading the sphere. I went all the way up to my 6B. So basically your darkest point um, to create the sphere. And again, it reacts off from the the cylinder or the upper part of the arm, how the light's hitting. So my light source is coming from over here and it's hitting this way. And on your round surfaces, which I have a lot of, um, it has the reflective light. So there's a little bit of that because I have to take into account the forearm and how the light's going to hit the forearm of the object, so on and so forth. So this is something you will want to take into account when you're shading, but I really just want you to have fun and do the best you can uh, while applying the shading and you know using your imagination to create your own shapes. Do you have to create a robot? No. Um, nature is filled with um, all these shapes and how you apply, how you put them together is entirely up to you. Um, I'm just looking for the shading. So I will be posting a close-up picture of this in the Google Classroom um, so you could check it out there um, and I'm gonna go ahead and upload these I hope you guys are all staying he he healthy happy and in at least trying to enjoy some of your time um, I know it's crazy time for all of us and lots of stuff going on so I'm I'm praying for you I love you guys and I will see you soon bye